Hi, I'm Jennifer Young. I'm a licensed physical therapist, and this is a series on osteoporosis and osteopenia. The question of the day is, what causes osteoporosis and osteopenia? First of all, it's important to note that bone is living tissue, that it's constantly being broken down and replaced, and this is a natural process um, that occurs throughout your life, and it's needed in order to keep our bones healthy. However, with osteoporosis, the creation of new bone isn't keeping up with the loss of old bone. So when I was looking up the causes of osteoporosis, depending on educational backgrounds, my sources pointed out um, or kind of honed in on different things. Um, the Physical Therapy Association and the National Institutes of Health, they listed out both unavoidable risks and avoidable risks for developing osteoporosis or increasing your likelihood of um, getting osteoporosis. So some of the unavoidable risks were that the female gender is more likely to get it, especially at a younger age. Um, slender, thin, thin boned men or women are at greater risk, advanced age, um, low hormone levels, genetics, such as if you have a parent um, that has had history of osteoporosis or a history of a hip fracture. They say the likelihood that the child would have osteoporosis in their future increases. Also, some different um, medical conditions they listed out, which I'm not going to go into all that, but I will put it put briefly in the notes below and um, you can check out more on the resources that I will put links to below also. The risks that can be avoided, they listed out as cigarette smoking and excessive alcohol intake. Inactive lifestyle, because it doesn't give your bones the stress that it needs to stay strong and give the cue for new bone to develop. Um, also, poor physical condition increases your likelihood of falling. If you're not as strong, you won't have as good of balance. Um, also, things noted would be excessive caffeine intake, um, certain medications um, at, cer at certain doses or long-term use of them. Again, I'm not going to go into those, but I'll um, briefly write about it below, and then you can check out the resources with the National Institute of Health especially, go into that a lot more. Um, also, just poor general health, low weight, um, and then nutrient-poor diets, especially in calcium, with calcium and vitamin D. So while proper nutrition is agreed upon um, as a requirement for healthy bones, poor nutrition doesn't explain why, in many cases, most bone tissue appears strong, and yet there's low mineral bone density demonstrated in just a few certain places on certain bones. So this is where um, biomechanist Katie Bowman believes that osteoporosis and osteopenia are not typically systemic diseases, but an indication of where the bones aren't being loaded correctly. She points out that the cue to make more new bone is mechanical and happens when forces are applied to the bone through muscle contraction and weight bearing. Without that cue, the nutrients that support bone growth can't do their job. Another perspective comes from the functional medicine doctors, and they have a slightly different view of risk factors, looking deeper into the things that cause inflammation within the body. These risk factors are chronic low-grade inflammation, um, such as with colitis or um, rheumatoid arthritis, Diets high in sugar, alcohol, caffeine, again, um, but also salt, soda, and potentially gluten with, for some people. They also point out stress and digestive issues, use of um, stomach acid blockers, because that also blocks mineral absorption, like for calcium, um, chronic steroid use, smoking, and again, the sedentary lifestyle. So those, the um, functional medicine doctors are looking at it more as 
the cause of osteoporosis being this inflammation throughout your body um, that then is not allowing your bones to get the things that they need to stay strong. So um, those are a few of the differences between the resources. Again, I'll list out the resources in the description below. But if any of those things bring up concern, definitely talk to your doctor about it. Um, and if you have any specific questions, you can talk to your doctor or you can just put a note in the comments below and I'll try to help you find an answer for it. Um, again, if you have a really good resource that you have found regarding um, osteoporosis or osteopenia, please put it in the comments below so that we can all learn together um, how we can stay healthy. So until next time, have a great day. Keep on learning.